It's September 1949, and the Balkan Federation of Socialist Republics, or the BFSR, is in its final days. The Allies surround the last defensive positions of this once great nation. At its height, the BFSR comprised of 16 different republics led by Bulgaria and stretched from Italy in the west to Turkey in the east. But now as the Allies close in, the BFSR would become just another relic of the past. The questions still remain unanswered. How did Bulgaria, being in such a weak position after the Great War, unite the countries of the Balkans that once hated each other to create such a formidable force? And how did this nation, along with its allies Austria-Hungary and Poland, affect the outcome of the Second World War? Okay, Bulgaria, 1936. We have this uh, national spirit. Second national catastrophe. That's not good. That makes me wonder what the first national catastrophe, catastrophe was. Anyway, um, we have an option at the start. At the very start, we can either go with the Tsar or oppose the oppose the Tsar. And because we're going communist, yeah, we're going to oppose the Tsar. That just makes sense. Okay, we have just completed Oppose the Royal Dictatorship. So now that gives us access to these faction management decisions. Bulgarian society and politics are divided into multiple factions, striving either to win favour of the government or to stir up the masses against it. The Bulgarian government must decide which of these factions can serve its interests and which pose a threat that must be eradicated for the sake of the nation. So we've got four factions here, and they all are kind of aligned with different ideologies. We've got the Zveno, which is like a, a non-aligned or mili military ideology, where it's like a military dictatorship. It's a nationalist organization founded by army officers and currently led by, I don't know, some guy. Zveno will appeal to army officers to join the organization and with time could even attempt to coup the government and impose a military dictatorship. So we probably want to crush these guys. So we can either integrate these guys or, or um, crush them. So integrate them into the government or crush them. It's a lot harder to integrate them, but crushing them, uh, but integrating them gives better benefits. We've also got the broad socialists which are a social democrat supporting broad class alliances. The, so, the broad socialists have great influence among the industrial workers and the unions and will call for general strikes if they are disloyal towards the government. So we probably want to integrate this guy, these guys because we are going communist. And we have the Agrigarian Union because these are like the democracy guys. The Agrigarian Union is a political organization banned in 1934 and devoted to questions concerning agriculture. They have great influence on the farmers. I don't, I don't know why farmers and democracy is a thing, but okay, <laughs> farmers. <laughs> and then the National Social Movement is a far-right organization led by former Zveno, Zveno member Alexander Skarnov. This is a, the fascist one, which we need to crush immediately because we're doing the complete opposite. Anyway, the National Socialist Movement will attempt to gain popularity among the masses by organizing demonstrations and protests throughout the country. So we are, what I want to do is I want to crush the Zveno, integrate the broad socialists, integrate the agrarian union, and then crush the national social movement. So to start, we're gonna allow the broad socialist speech. Yugoslavia recognizes the Soviet Union. This is actually really big for us. Because if we, because our goal is like, we convince them to go communist with decisions. But if they go communist before we even, if they, we go communist without even having to convince them. That's a, that's a huge W right there. That is a major W. Worker strikes. Members of the broad socialist faction have joined the communists in their effort to ignite national strikes among the industrial workers. Through clandestine assemblies and meetings, they have managed to gather great support and sympathy among the Bulgarian proletariat. We must proceed with caution when imposing order in the regions where these strikers, where these strikers are most popular, lest the situation escalate to something more serious than mere strikes. Uh, which is the one that gives them, gives them the most popularity? We, but, oh, they, oh, we get worker strikes, are you serious? We're integrating these guys, wait. They literally have 50 loyalty, why are they? Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Alright, uh, we're gonna have to go, hunger will eventually bring them back to the floor. But unfortunately we have worker strikes now, so everything takes longer and we have stability issues. Oh my gosh. Yes, the world works in mysterious ways. Anyway, we gotta deal with this MIRO, these MIRO, International Macedonian Revolutionary Organization or something. They did, okay, committed a bunch of war crimes in World War One, and they're still in our country and everyone hates us because of it, so we gotta kick them right out of here. There we go, we've condemned the IMRO. So that means we should have more stability and people will like us a bit more because we condemned, condemn those guys and we can fight them, okay. So now we unlock these decisions here. 
IMRO has been a scrooge all around the Balkans for far too long. We must deal with the remaining cells still active in Bulgaria, imprison their members who look more like gangsters rather than revolutionaries, and finally end their reign of terror. So we can spend 50 political power, and then if we, we, if we select this one, we get more decisions to eventually get rid of this uh, really bad uh, national spirit, which gives us negative 10% stability, and we lose political power gain as well. So I don't want to lose that. All right, let's go. Before we get into 1937, really quick, I would like to announce my Patreon. For those of you who really want to support the growth of my channel, then that is the best place to do it because you will receive added benefits like being able to vote on the country that I play next, and not just that, receiving early access to the openings of my videos. To join as a comrade, the link is in the description. Anyway, back to the video. We, we need each other to achieve our greatest. So we get 120 political power, 10% stability, and all the other factions lose loyalty, but that's fine. Because this is really, really good. And then, because we integrated them, we get this guy, Marxist Philosopher, who gives 10% political power gain, 5% research speed, and then 0.05 communist support. I don't know, that's, a, that's, an insane, that's an insane dude right there. There we go, we got Green Poland. Green Poland Peasant Uprising. Interesting. Okay. There we go. Peasant Uprising in Krakow. Okay. Operation to imprison National Social Movement leaders. The operation to capture the leaders of the National Social Movement has been successful. Police forces have detained most of the important figures related to the organization, including Alexander Sakhanov himself, dealing a critical blow to the organization. They won't be able to cause any more trouble. Political power plus 50. Popularity negative 15, faction loyalty negative 5. That's good. That's excellent. Really nice. Alright, uh, let's raid them right now. And guess what it's time for? It's about that time of year. About that time of year 1937. About the Russian Civil War. Yes, you guessed it. We have a Russian Civil War on our hands. Okay, we've got a second Russian, Russian Civil War. So they're not doing any infighting. They've fully gone to beaten but not defeated. Interesting. Okay, we'll see what happens here. Because... We won't have any communist friends. Oh, we've just negotiated rearmament. Okay, because we've just negotiated, re re negotiated rearmament, we have un we've unlocked Bulgarian rearmament decisions. After our defeat in the Great War and the imposition of the Newly Treaty, our army has been subjected to enormous limitations, but turbulent times are looming over Europe now, and if we are to preserve the territorial integrity of Bulgaria and the freedom of its people, we must find a way to leave those restrictions behind and start rebuilding our army. So we have two options. We can convince the UK to lift the restrictions, you know, by demonstrating our peace and um, getting rid of the IMRO and, and revoking our claims and whatever. Or we could just straight up just ignore ignore them. But we can only do that while we're at war. So if we go to war, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna say, yep, yeah, screw you guys. I, I ain't I ain't doing no army restrictions. You guys can piss right off. But if we're not at war anytime soon, then I'll have to go through the UK trying to convince them. National Socialist Movement Destroyed For the past few weeks, police forces have been rooting out the remnants of the National Social Movement, which was already severely weakened and disorganized by the lack of strong leadership after the arrests we made prior to this operation. We can now safely say that the National Social Movement has, has ceased to exist in the Tsardom of Bulgaria, which can only benefit the country and its government. No one will miss them. 120 political power, 10% stability, and faction loyalty for all the other factions. That's good. Oh, more political power. That's pretty. That's nice. All right. I want to start demonstrating our policies of peace. Yes, let's do that. Please lift the restrictions, UK. Friends, Chinese Union are out of front. And we got the little Entente. Wow, Czechoslovakia. Three times in a row they've gone Czech Entente. And this is the... Yep, okay. That's great. Okay, wow. So Yugoslavia is going to be in the Czech Entente. We have to convince them to not be in the Czech Entente. Okay, we'll see how this goes. We'll see. All that glitters. Done. Now, guess what we're going to do? We're going to overthrow the Tsar, that's correct. Anti-Tsarist sentiment is spreading in Bulgaria, and we must seize this valuable opportunity to overthrow Tsar Boris and abolish the Bulgarian monarchy once and for all. There is no place in modern Bulgaria for which such an obsolete form of government, or for such an obsolete form of government. Political power, so socialism, we get rid of Tsar, and then we get an incompetent leader. That's fine. And then we get a bunch of people retiring, and uh, people don't like us. And if if stability is below thirty percent, we get a civil war. But it's eighty-seven, so we're not we're not going to have an issue with that. Uh -huh. Operation to impreno, imprison Zveno leaders. Police forces arrested important individuals. 
but the leader managed to flee. And now he's in hiding, he's continuing to lead Zveno. That's a disappointing outcome. So no political power, just uh, loyalty and popularity going down. All right, well, let's let's raid them, see how that goes. Yeah, we're gonna raid you now, good luck. Uncovered, oh, whoa, okay, we got the, some Mexican Civil War. We got a, is it democratic? Democratic and non, that, yeah, there's a colorful pie chart. I don't even know, you're not aligned, but I don't know your people, <laughs> I don't know what your people want. Anyway, democratic, okay. Unco uncovered Zveno plot. Reliable sources have informed us that some members of the Zveno, who have already publicly criticized the regime on other occasions, have recently contacted a number of military officers. Although we do not know for sure what these meetings were, or who the officers they have approached were, there is no doubt that this suspicious movement by the Zveno is a part of an obscure great escape. Okay, so they're gonna, they're gonna, um, they're gonna make an uprising, a coup. So we have to investigate further. We lose 50 political power and 5% war support. That's really bad. I don't want to do that. But then we can repress. We already we're already repressing them. Or we could just let them wait. Wait, let them to make a move. No, I don't want to do that. What if they just start a civil war? And then we lose half of our stuff. Yeah, we're going to have to investigate further. Zveno members repressed. Very good, but we lose stability. Whatever. Conspirator exposed. After conducting a thorough investigation reaching out a few to Zveno members loyal to the regime, we have uncovered a military plot to overthrow the government. Amongst the list of people associated with this conspiracy, the name of one of the most our trusted generals have come to light, Alexander Nikolov. We must now decide what to do with this apparently disloyal individual. Which one is that? Where is he? Alexander Nikolov. Please don't be good. Asen, is it Asen Nikolov? Yeah, it is. Sorry. Oh, it's this guy. Is this Venom member? He's not that great. Yeah, we can get rid of him. Get rid of him at once. Scum. Absolute, absolutely terrible. All right, time to destroy the Zveno. Yep, wow, a lot of stuff just happened there with our factions. Anyway, there's the Italians. The Italians start meddling in our politics. They start trying to influence us, but we will not be influenced by fascist scum. Communism and socialism is the only way forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wow, we have a, a late, a pretty late German civil war then. Okay, that's interesting. And the Kingdom of Italy is influencing our politics. Are we getting like some, yeah, we're getting fascism support. For a long time, the Italian government has sought to align the path of our countries and has often tried to meddle the in the Tsardom of Bulgaria's politics. Recently, this has intensified as PNF started pushing their fascist propaganda with no respect for, Bul for Bulgarian p political traditions. A number of speeches and other fascist material is already being dis distributed to the Bulgarian people. It seems that even a number of politicians and the other and other officials are being swayed by the Italian propaganda and have begun advocating for fascism in the Tsardom of Bulgaria. How dare they? And now they want a they want a non-aggression pact. So they just start influencing our influencing our politics without even asking me. They just we're not, we're doing the complete opposite of what they want us to do. And now they think they we're going to have a non-aggression pact. No, we're not having a non-aggression pact. Oh my god. Okay, we've overthrown the Tsar. We've overthrown the Tsar. Look at this guy. We've got this guy. He's pretty incompetent. This was the guy that was down here. I just realized. Now he's up there. Cool. Alright, we have more decisions. We can negotiate our rearmament. Please. Okay, this is the this is the focus where it's like you have to you have to let us. Alright, you have to you have to lift it. Alright. Zveno destroyed. Police forces rooting out the remnants of Zveno. Disorganized by the lack of strong leadership, arrests were made. Safely say Zveno has ceased to exist in Bulgaria, benefiting the government. 120 political power, 10% stability, we remove that national spirit, and then Agrigan Union gets more loyalty. Brilliant. Oh, we get a... Do we get a captain of industry or a com... We should get a communist guy. Yeah, I want more communism support. And now, we can start working on integrating the Agrarian Union, the last one left. The UK lifts our army restrictions. After arduous negotiations in Sofia with the delegation from the UK, we have signed an agreement whereby the British government has lifted restrictions on our army and the Tsardom of Bulgaria can finally begin military rearmament. There is no time to lose. Begin rearmament. Beautiful. Unfortunately, we've got no army experience, so we can't really, but we are going to get rid of these two, two trash divisions. Get some manpower. Try and uh, refill our army. Make it a bit more better. 
Alright, it is now time to do the Fatherland Front. After gathering significant support from the numerous political groups, it is time for our anti-fascist front to become a political movement in itself, uniting members of all these different political organizations into a single party, determined to resist fascism in Bulgaria at all costs. Yeah, thanks to the Italians, they're actually increasing it. And we're actually getting no increase of communist support. This is going 008, this is going 000. It's going zero, negative zero, zero, 007, zero. yeah. So this is, our communist support isn't even increasing. So fortunately, this only needs 40%. And if we do this, we get 10%, which then get, gets us over the 40% mark, which is lucky. So the Fatherland Front, the Socialist Party will now be called the Fatherland Front. Socialism, and then everything gets loyalty that we have integrated, except Zveno. Division within the Agrarian National Union. Despite the fact that Agrarians and Communists have not had great history of cooperation previously, it seems that finding a common objective in overthrowing the government has managed to unite certain wings of the Na National Agrarian Union and the Communist Party. Some of the Agrarians have decided to leave the organization and join the Communists, while others more conservative remain faithful, faithful to, both their f to both their fight against the bourgeoisies and their rejection of Bolshevism and try to find political ways to reach an understanding with the government. Pesky rats. This is actually a good thing. We may lose popularity, but we gain loyalty. We get 50 political power, and then we get 5% socialism popularity. That's good. Yeah, I don't know why it was coming off as a bad thing. It was a pretty good thing in what we were doing. So anyway, we are now about to form the Fatherland Front. I, I actually don't know what this does, but it sounds cool. So there we, there we go. We can at last reap the fruits of our great efforts to unite widely contrasting political and ideological groups, groups on a single front against the pro-German militaristic dictatorship in Bulgaria. We have formed the Fatherland Front, integrated not only by the Communist Party, but by also by former members of the Zveno, Broad Socialists, Agrarians and other formations, which now together oppose the bourgeoisie that dominates the country and that will not hesitate to ruin it again in search of its own fortune. United, we are stronger. 70 political power, and we get the Fatherland Front, which gives us 5% war support, ideology drift defense, and communism support. Let's go. Doing that. All right. Now I think it is time to do the People's Republic of Bulgaria. Now that we have gotten rid of rid of the Bulgarian monarchy, we must make it make some much needed changes to the governance of our nation. It is time to end the era of despotism and oppression that has plagued the country for so many years and form the People's Republic of Bulgaria. Unity makes strength. We get stability, 10%, and then we uh, remove the debuff of the stability on the second national catastrophe. We become communist, FF becomes a ruling party, political power, and people retire. Let's do it. We have finally integrated the Agrarian National Union into the government. Collaboration between members of the former organization and our party in this way. We can now foster cooperation for larger projects with some of the brightest minds in our country. This will bring great benefits to the country. Beautiful. All right, that gives us, whoa, we can get, we can go to partial mob. We can get one of these. We should get the leader of the Agrarian Union. We just integrated them. So we get this guy who gives 10% political power uh, max factories in state plus 10%, which is huge. Resources to market negative 10%, and then democracy support, which I, I don't mind if we have a little bit of democracy support. Just rallies in the capital this week, they don't seem to have any specific grievances they want to air, beyond a general sense that we should try to improve our relations with the Kingdom of Italy and remove any politicians critical of the Italian administration from any positions of power. No, this is the complete opposite of what we want to do. While it is possible that these demonstrations are just spontaneous manifestations of the po popular opinion, it is at least remarkable that a number of key organizers traveled to recently and seem to have begun agitating for this upon their return. Oh gosh. Further, we have non-aligned popularity or fascism. Oh god. All of them suck. I don't want to, I want to pick either of these two, but this... I guess we'll have to do this one. I guess fascism will go a bit... Oh, God. It's going down, though, which is good. The People's Republic of Bulgaria is complete. We are now... Georgi... Georgi Dimitrov. We get... Dude, the hero of the Leipzig trials. Look at him. Political power and... All of Justify War Goal Time plus 25% on us. That's insane. This guy's so good. That's right. We are now officially the People's Republic of Bulgaria, and I bet the Italians weren't expecting that one, were they? But don't worry, that comes to bite us back later in, in the future. Whoa. Okay. Okay. 
Then we got the Treaty of Perpetual Friendship with Yugoslavia. Democratic Federal Yugoslavia signs Treaty of Perpetual Friendship. Grigor Grigory Dimitrov returned to Sofia today from a meeting with Joseph Tito in Serbia to discuss the proposal to sign a Treaty of Perpetual Friendship between Democratic Federal Yugoslavia and the People's Republic of Bulgaria. At the end of the meeting, dignitaries from both countries signed the treaty, but left some clauses open for the future with the mutual desire not only to preserve but also to expand this beneficial relationship. This will strengthen both nations. So we get a non-aggression pact with them. Uh, we like each other. They get communism support, but they're already communists, so it's fine. And Germany and everyone else hates it. Very good. This will strengthen both nations. Very well, very well indeed. And now, because we did that, we got the Balkan Federation dream decisions. The People's Republic of Bulgaria must champion the formation of a strong Balkan Federation to confront the many enemies of the proletariat and make the Balkan nations understand that the only way to prevail in our struggle is to develop with cop develop cooperation and solidarity among our peoples, which will ultimately lead to the unification of the Balkans. Balkan Federation Project. Let's begin. We are now one step closer to the unification of the communist Balkans, but we are still a ways away as Italy, Greece and Turkey all have their own plans. Key. The Republic of Turkey declared war on the Republic of Turkey. Hang on, this is like right on our border. So we got this non-aligned owner, this guy. Oh yeah, it's this thing. The Democrat. Okay, we got them democratic. Interesting. Okay, we'll see what happens here then. Oh, the Balkan Federation Project. We have finished the preparation of the project for the formation of a Balkan Federation of Socialist Republics with the purpose of presenting it to the governments of the Balkan nations and negotiating the accession of each one each one of them, starting with the Democratic Federal Yugoslavia. There's Joseph Tito. You'd better join. The main objective of the Federation, which will be led by the People's Republic of Bulgaria, is the cooperation of all the peoples of the in the Balkans in a supranational union, ready to fight the many enemies that seek to subdue the Balkan countries. But Gre Gregory Dimitrov's dreams of something more, a united Balkan Federation, in which the citizens will no longer be Bulgarians, Greeks, Yugoslavs, but free, citi free citizens of the Balkans. This is essentially just the Soviet Union, but for the Balkans. <laughs> We're just doing, I'm based, this guy is just basically Joseph Stalin. No, actually no, he's basically just Lenin. This guy's Lenin. All right, no, shut up. Anyway, it's a dream worth fighting for. The Balkan Federation Project is ready. So after we finish this focus, we are going to do this and then they get an invitation to join our join our faction, which is pretty good. Republics, 35 days. The project of the Balk Balkan Federation failed in the 1920s due to the nationalistic aspirations of the various members, but times have changed and we must show our new federation project to the rest of the Balkan nations, starting with Yugoslavia. We get 10% stability. We get so much stability in this focus tree. It's like, it's wild. And then we get a faction, and then Yugoslavia is invited to the faction, and then we have decisions we can unlock, which you're going to see in a second. Balkan Federation of Socialist Republic. The Democratic Federal Yugoslavia accepts the invitation of the Balkan Federation of Socialist Republics. Democratic Federal Yugoslavia has decided to accept our offer to join the Balkan Federation, blah, blah, blah. Henceforth, we shall stand together. Through workers, the, the workers' plight could not be, could not, what, what do I make, what, what, I can't even read, what's going on, find a champions, very good, there we go, we've got the news event, you can pause if you want to read it, I'm not reading it, there we go, look at this, we got our own little faction, look at this, it's green, we've got a cool green, well it's the colour of our nation, but there we go, we got some more decisions now, so, because that we finished that and they said, I think, it doesn't matter if they said yes or not. We can now do this in, in other nations. Now, Romania is part of the Czech Entente. I want to I want to do Greece. Greece seems pretty pretty uh, likely to pretty good to influence right now. I reckon. Yeah, let's go Greece. All right. Um, Balkan Federation propaganda in Greece. Oh, we can do it in every everywhere. Okay, let's do it in everywhere then. Uh, Turkey and um, I want to destabilize Greece as well. That's pretty good. Uh, so, uh, basically, Mexico went socialist again, which means they go absolutely ham and just declare war on everyone, even America. And then this leads an early American allies entry, very early, and we don't like it. That's bad. So we'll stay away from the allies for now. Mexico just declared war on the UK. Mexico just declared war on the UK. Are they dumb? Why would they do that? Who's in the allies? Are the allies just going to become insane now? 
because they've gone historical, so they're just going to start getting... Oh my god, imagine everyone just joins the Allies. The German Civil War is still going on. It's still... It's the 17th of April, 1939. They're still doing it. They're still fighting over the, the land. And a sticks wizard. Bam. Oh my god, we can do more. Fast planner. Thorough planner. Thorough planner. Aggressive assault. Yes. Oh my god, this guy's OP. We got like the best... The best field marshal in the world. We got, um... Check on taunts obviously gonna be dangerous for us. We got Italy, which is gonna be dangerous for us. That's about it. I'm hoping we can get Greece and Turkey in, in on this. If we can, then it'd be pretty good. And you are about to see my prediction become into fruition as Mexico declares war on America and America joins the Allies. Whoa, what a surprise! And then America gets uh, Mexico gets uh, completely shot on by by America. Whoa, 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 hang on. What just happened? You, the Mexico declared war on America? America joined the Allies. Dude, Mexico were absolutely crazy, man. Mexico were the craziest. Of course they're socialist. Oh my gosh. I wish we, we I mean, I'd support them, but they're, they're idiots. Why would they just declare war on Britain and then America? Now America's in the Allies in 1939. They were literally not in, they weren't even intervening. Good job, Mexico. Yes, well done. Thank you for that. Much, so much brilliant. Okay, as long as we don't go to war with the Allies, we should be fine. I'm gonna be honest, 1940, not much really happened. I was fiddling around with the spy network system and I couldn't really figure out what the hell was going on. I was just, I was messing up and I was wasting equipment trying to do coups on Greece and Turkey. It did, it didn't work. All right, we're almost at 70%. You can almost orchestrate a coup. Yes, there we go. We got these two guys. Deadly? What? Why is it such high risk? Create a coup on uh, the Kingdom of Greece. I'll need to correct 12,000. Oh, we can't do it yet. We need 12,000 infantry equipment. We have 3,000. Alright, we're orchestrating a coup right now. Hopefully, it's communist, right? They're better. Oh, I swear to God, if it's not communist. Alright, very good. 90 days. Those of you who looked closely, that was a collaboration government, not a coup. Yep, they uh, got confused. I accidentally was doing collab. Alright, we're gonna prepare that then. Okay, we need to improve relations. If we improve relations, docking rights and all that, maybe they'll say yes. That was it. I had enough of the Italians stealing territory from the Yugoslavians. First it was Zara, and now it's Dalmatia, and soon enough they're going to take Montenegro as well. We cannot sit by and let this happen. We must claim the Italian territories as Yugoslavias, as our friends, and back them up in the most important war that would define this playthrough. Now, we can't just sit by and be like, nah, Italy can have what they want, right? We need to actually, like, stand up for ourselves and, you know, for our communist, communist utopia that we're going to build. Before Italy's territorial ambitions go any further, we must demand that the Italian government transfer control, transfer control of its occupied territories in the Balkans to the countries to which they legitimately belong or else face the consequences. Yet, event, the People's Republic of Bulgaria demands Italian territories in the Balkans. Yeah, Italy. The Kingdom of Italy refuses to give up the Balkan territories. After a long meeting with our delegation sent to negotiate the cession of Italian territories in the Balkans to the nation to which they legitimately belong, Mussolini has finally refused to listen to Bulgarian diplomats, stating that every piece of territory occupied by the Kingdom of Italy in the Balkans rightfully belongs to the Italian people. So we have two options. Then we shall take those territories ourselves. We get a war goal against them. And a bunch of things are claimed, like Zara, Albania, Dalmatia. And then we'll deal with the Italians later. Okay, well, no. We're going to get a war goal. And we shall take those territories ourselves. The tension was heating up. The Balkans were ripe for another war. And it only took a spark in the Balkans from Czechoslovakia for everything to ignite. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! That's huge. That is so huge. That is huge. Czechoslovak Republic just declared war on the Kingdom of Hungary, which means Romania is going to declare war on the Kingdom of Hungary, meaning Romania is now at war with Czechoslovakia, which brings in Italy, so now Italy is against war at war with Czechoslovakia. 
the Czech on Ton. So we got Italy versus the Czech on Ton. We could jump in here. We could jump in and be like, okay, we declare war on Italy. And then we have a front with Hungary, but Hungary has two fronts. Hungary's going to get wiped out instantly. And then we can give uh, the Czech on Ton military access through us to fight the Italians. Then we have a huge Italian block, uh, anti-Italian block. This was the plan. And oh boy, are you about to see how my plans never actually go to plan. Democratic Party has been to power, yep. Not surprised, we have the Hungarian Republic. All right, now all of these troops can finally get on the front to where they're needed. Stop fooling around, we'll start winning. It's just your average Balkan war. Major power <laughs> coming in and trying to take over the entirety of the Balkans. And then everyone else in the Balkans uniting together to defeat them, only to start fighting against each other after it's after it's done. <laughs> Romania, I'm literally about to invade you from my country. I swear to God. Okay, I'm not actually I'm not actually going to invade Romania from my country. Probably get destroyed. But what are they doing? Did you see that? They had their whole army just sitting in one town, one little city. What are they doing? What are they waiting for? They're just waiting for us to do all the work. Apparently, that's what that's what it looks like. Oh, right, I don't know. I don't know what they are. You'll see. They actually get surrounded by later. You'll see. I'm sorry, Tito. He's probably in like the Savak right now. They just capitulated. They just okay. So yeah, they just get all that territory. Why why not? Why not get all that territory? You know? Oh, good job. Wow. Romania got their entire army trapped in Novi Sad. Wow. Intelligent AI. Well done. Congratulations. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. No, wow. They've not just done this. They've just assassinated Mussolini. Put this guy in charge. And this is part of the central powers. What are we, what are we supposed to do? Now we're going to be at war with Germany. Oh, thank God I just did defensive lines, whatever that does. Where is it? Where's defensive lines? Here it is. We get anti-air, infrastructure, okay. A bunch of random stuff. Yep, who saw that one coming? Biggest plot twist of the century. Mussolini got assassin assassinated by the Germans. Let them join the Central Powers and now we're at war with Germany. And everyone in Czechoslovakia, the Czech Entente and me are at war with I Italy. Not just Italy, and Germany. I, I, this, this is very, very scary. Easier, are they? And Germany is going to be at war against Czechoslovakia. They got a bunch of forts, right? They're not going to fall. Germany under attack. Right, so at this point, we're in dire straits. There's no way that if the, all the German troops just went into the Italian border as well, we, we'd be screwed. But something happened, something amazing. Hope was given to us. We A gift from the gods, maybe. It was kind of... I don't know if it was a good thing yet, but in, in future reference, it, this is a very good thing. Oh. No way. Greece just declared war on Turkey. Oh my gosh. The French Republic just joined Great Britain. But now we've got Greece, Turkey. We're supposed to be allies, guys. We can invite Greece into our faction now, though. Oh, that's that's interesting. You know what we're going to do? We're going to invade Turkey. I've had it up to 5 billion years with Greece. We invite, invite, no, we're going to, we've had it up to, no, I should invade Greece. Greece are the annoying ones. No. Yeah, because. What do I, okay, no. Invite to faction. Alright, there we go. Greece is off, yep. Okay, Greece is now part of our faction. Meaning, we can spread this round to here. We have a way bigger front with Italy. Now, we can, they've got troops on the border. Let's call to arms immediately. And then we will join wars. UK? Who's the UK at war with? The UK is at war with Germany. Hang on. Turkey's in the Central Powers. 
So we're at war with the central powers. And then everyone... So the central powers are, are at war with everyone else. So if the allies, which is just France, America, and the UK, at war with the central powers. We got the Czech Entente, which is at war with the central powers. And then you got our faction, the Balkan Federation of Socialist Republics, which is at war with the central powers. This is like World War One. What's going on? Except instead of Austria-Hungary, it's bloody Italy. <laughs> it's pretty good. What? They broke through the Maginot Line? No way. France, how did you let the Maginot Line get broken through? How did that happen? What are you doing? Yes, France was going to fall, but I had a, uh, a nice trick up my sleeve with a certain country that was, you know, a similar ideology to me. Faction. Poland. Poland has now joined our faction. They Germany have got no troops on their border. Look at Poland. Look how many... Look how stacked Poland is. Look at how stacked Poland is. What is this? What is all these troops? How many divisions? They've got a hundred divisions. Look at all these. They're just around the entire country. Germany have got no troops on their border. Hey, Poland, uh, do you want to join the war? Maybe, you know, <laughs> go to a race to Berlin. How, how does that sound? You know, sound pretty good? Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, do they get the event? No, they don't. It's just, just the Balkan nations. Okay, I think we're going to do it. I want to wait till we get a little bit more of Yugoslavia back, though. Will they say yes? They got to say yes. They can't say no, right? I mean, we're in a position now where unifying is probably stronger than just being separate nations. If we combined our army and put it all under one, then I think we'd be a lot stronger. So we're going to do unification of the Balkans. The time has come to realize our vision of a united and independent Balkan federation in which all citizens are equal and can move freely regardless of origin, culture, or creed. Gains a core on every Balkan state. And then uh, Yugoslavia and Greece gets event unification of the Balkans. Yes, that's right. That is right. Okay, Poland. There we go, they're in the war. Poland, start walking into Germany, please. Yeah, they're doing it. Perfect. Beautiful. Germany, you're in a bit of trouble now. All your troops are stuck in France. Why are you busy breaking through the Maginot Line? Yeah, you got some other issues. All right, let's get this encirclement. Boom! Boom! Encirclement of the century right here, boys. There's one division we just encircled. Yeah, take that, Italy. No coming back from that one division, is there? Ah, yeah, that's what I thought. We just made it to the to the Adriatic Sea. That's not too bad. Let's go. Yes, there we go. The liberation of Belgrade. Yugoslavia is officially uncapitulated, right? Well, no, they capitulated, but, you know, they don't have... Yeah, we're fine. We're good. All right, Yugoslavia, let's go. Okay, can we get an encirclement here? Can we get an encirclement right here? Look, we've taken this port. Now attack, 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 attack. But surely this is like a lot of divisions right here. This has got to be a lot of divisions. We've taken the port. We're close to unifying as well. Hopefully they accept. They should accept. They got a, a hundred opinion. A hundred opinion, yeah. They can't not accept. Unification of the Balkans has been completed. So now... Whoa, we're a cool color. We're like a cool black color. Unification of the Balkans. Done. All right. So they should be getting events. As soon as we wait, we're just going to select our next focus. Whatever this one. No, not that one. This one, yes. We had a military factory from it. Okay, do they get the, the event? They should get the event. The Democratic Republic of Greece integrated into the Federal Re People's Republic of the Balkans. The Greek government has accepted our unification proposal and joined the United Balkan Federation. Former Greek citizens will now become free Balkan citizens who have placed their trust in Georgi Dimitrov's dream of a United Balkans. The dream has come true. Democratic Republic of Greece. Every unit leader joins the Balkans. Annexes. We get can lead to war. Doesn't matter. Boom! Boom! Boom, 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 boom. Look at all this. Do we get all the Greek troops? We get all the Greek troops. We get all the Greek troops. That's beautiful. Into the Balkans. Oh, look at us now. Look at us. Look at us now. No one's stopping us now. No one is stopping us now. All right. All these guys. Are supposed to be on this line here. Perfect. We're going to liberate the rest of our country. Because it is our country now. No longer. Is it the uh, Yugoslavians? It is the Free Balkan Nation. We have 11 of these. What do these look like? Yep, they're fine. We can integrate them. And we have four of these guys, which are pretty average, but it's fine. The murder of Histo Lukov. Last evening, 
Histro Lukov, leader of the Union Bulgarian National Legions, was ambushed by two members of the battle groups organized by the Bulgarian Communist Party who followed him from the Royal Cinema to his home at 1 Artillery Street. There's a, there's a street called Artillery Street? That's okay. As the political leader was about to enter his home, one of the partisans, Ivan Brzezhev, shot him from close range and hit him on the shoulder. Then Luke, Lukov grabbed the man and pressed him against the wall before attempting to retreat into the building. But Violeta Yakova, the second agent, still unnoticed by the victim, shot him in the back, then picked her up, then picked her comrade and fled, picked up her comrade and fled through the neighboring yard, leaving a mortally wounded Husto Lukov at the entrance to his house. Who the hell is Husto Lukov? Is this like a, a dude? Who is who is Husto Lukov? All right. Well, I guess the world is better without him, I suppose. Yeah, I've absolutely got no idea who that is or what relevance. If someone could let me know in the comments who that guy is and what impact that had on the game, please. Because I, I, who is? I don't know who that guy is. I don't know if he's a fascist dude, a communist dude. I don't even know if he's in the game. I don't know if this is just some reference from like some something that actually happened in real life. I, please let me know in the comments. We're under a talent territory now. We're liberating the long haul territory of Liberia. Once hold by the Italians for 15,000 years, finally liberating our own territory. Why am I talking like an American? I don't know. We're not American. We're in the Balkans right now. I don't know why I'm talking like the Oh, Hungary demands. <laughs> Hungary, the Democratic Hungary. Yep, Romania rejects it. Whoa. Maybe they're going to go to war. Who knows? These powers are done for. Japan just joined the Central Powers? Russia has just joined the Central Powers? Oh my god! Oh, that is it for Poland. There's no way Poland can defend against Russia. Am I right? No way Russia just joined the Central Powers. That is the biggest plot twist of the 21st century. What am I talking about? We're not even in the 20th. The 20th century! Biggest plot twist of the 20th century! Russia! joins the central powers because they yeah there is R. and they got the the yeah they're, they're all oh, this guy's these guys are democratic what italy's democratic and they're fighting the central powers maybe they should have maybe they should switch sides do you reckon they should have a change of heart you know we got socialist turkey is still a turkey join us you're socialist you're not oh my gosh really having the biggest look at it look at this look at this look at this setup of the world like can you when you turn off a historical you know it takes a few games to get a really good game this is a really, really good game. We've got... It's, a, it's just, just amazing. I just, I just love this. It's beautiful. 50 divisions. 50 divisions. Oh my god, we're unstoppable. Oh my god, we're unstoppable. Alright, that's it for the Italians. Yeah, there we go. I predicted it. I literally predicted this. Finland just joined the Central Powers, but they're not bordering anyone, so they're no, no issue. Not an issue. This is what the Italians are hearing as we approach Rome. Okay, back on a more serious note, there was another huge plot twist, but this time the plot twist was in our favor. Whoa! What? I... Oh my god. Our hero. Austria-Hungary. The Austro-Hungarian Empire rose from the ashes out of nowhere. Out of absolutely nowhere. And Austria... Has been reformed and is at war against the Central Powers. Austria has switched sides officially. Can we invite them to our faction? We can invite them to our faction. Hey, Austria, join our faction, please. Oh! 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 We've just got Austria-Hungary in our faction! The Czech Entente is only Romania. No way. Austria-Hungary! Alright, let's go, boys. We're an unstoppable. We're, we're probably one of the strongest factions now, just because of that. we got Poland, me, and Austria-Hungary. This is mad. Then they only have three majors left. We have to capitulate Japan. We even get a peace deal, which we will do. I'll make sure that this happens. 
I don't care if we go to 1956. All right, so we're getting a peace deal out of this. Because I want to see a peace deal. Italy just capitulated. Brilliant. Okay, so let's just clean up. Mainland Italy. We still got a division here. That's annoying. Before they cross that straight, go. Yeah. America's getting wrecked by Mexico. D Democratic Mexico. Why Mexico? Wait. Mexico aren't even in a faction. They're just at war with America. America are getting screwed. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Wow. You don't see a lot of things. You don't, it's one of the things you don't see every day. Right. Turkey just capitulated. Beautiful. Okay, let's just clean up uh, the divisions. Whatever's left. I'm going to take some core states. In fact, I'm going to take all of our core states. We can't take any more. Okay. Alright, 10 days and then we invade Romania. This is going to happen, right? Alright, we declared war. No, they're going to say no. Poland, pull to arms. They're going to say no. No, we need Poland in the war, come on. There we go. Romania capitulated. Oh, we got a peace deal. Nice. Do we have cores on everything? Some comments said if I hover over it, I can see. Yes, there we go. Cores. Romania and the Federal Republic of the... Do we have cores up here? Yes, we do. We have cores on essentially all of it. Alright, very good. We take it all. It was all us. Can't deny that. Yeah, you're going to try to fight me for it? No. Italy is fighting me for it. No. No. Ours. 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 Mine. 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 We're like a bunch of seagulls. Mine. 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 Bro, how long do you want to fight this for? Italy, you're not beating me. We can see. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's actually genuinely what I thought. We can sit here all day. Alright, very good. Confirm an exit. We took all of it. Beautiful. Why has Russia suddenly decided that that's their territory? Clearly is not. We will take it from you. Immediately. Oh my gosh, look at this huge block here. It's crazy. Yeah, that's it. They capitulated. They capitulated. Why is no... There we go. The fall of Berlin. Okay, I didn't say they capitulated. But okay, I acknowledge that they have. The board Berlin did not fall to us, which kind of sucks. Did not go to Austria Hungary. 1945, yes. Plot twist to number three happens this year. Something, it's not in our favor this time. It's, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not great, it's something to do with Russia. It's not good. The fall and hopefully collapse of Russia. Oh. Okay, we've taken it. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. De bra! There's no way. We took St. Petersburg and they're still they're still knocking around. That's their cap no, that's a different one. Where's their capital? It's gonna be Vladivostok, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Alright, back on the grind. There we go, Finland capitulated. Industry sabotage in Savo. Whoa. We saw a bunch of sabotage industry. No good. Oh! Whoa, what? What just happened? What the heck just happened? Russia, United Kingdom and Russia just signed white peace. We have signed white peace, apparently. Russia declared war on them. Russia signed white peace. Yunnan. Hungarian. Poland. They're not at war anymore. What do you mean they just signed white peace? 
are you talking about they just signed a white piece with us? That's not... That's not how this works. No, you can't just sign white piece when we're about to capitulate you and then just get all of your land back. That's not... No, 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 no. I've never been scammed by the AI before, but I think that just might be the biggest scam on the history of Hoi 4 playing anyone has ever had ever. Like, we were, they were like 97% capitulated and then a white piece just randomly happened <laughs> and now they've got all their land back? That doesn't make any sense. Whatever, it's fine. We keep playing and uh, yeah. We're not capitulating Russia. Now Russia joined the Allies. Wait, so what happened with Japan? We still at war with Japan? We should be. He was like, they're not at war with Japan yet. That's so odd. And what do you know? What do you know? Russia declares war on Japan. Finally, we actually might have a chance of getting a peace deal. Uh, yep. And then Japan is being called in, blah, blah, blah. We might have a chance of getting a peace deal. But no, Russia had plans for our little nation as well. I don't know why they thought they could get away with this, but they decided that they wanted to put us under their protection. Us under their protection? What do you mean? We almost capitulated you guys. If anything, you guys were going to be under our protection. Anyway, have a look. Whoa. As the world around us descends into violence, the Tsardom of Russia has stepped up and vowed to defend all Slavic peoples against those who would seek us harm. They have extended an invitation to us for a membership into the Pan-Slavic Union, in which they claim all Slavic peoples will be represented fairly and justly protected by the great Russian army. What are you talking about? We got our own little confederate. What do you, what do you, hang on. We'll participate. The game will end for me. They annex us. Okay, well, that, and the protection is not worth our independence. They get a war goal against us. No, we do not need you to protect us, Vladimir the Third. We do not need you to protect us, and I don't want you to protect us. We, we've, we've done enough already. I mean, we've got some pretty strong friends, and we've already cap almost capitulated you guys once. You know, I wouldn't want you guys to try again. It'd be too difficult for you guys. Okay, they just declared war on us. Okay, so we've got troops in Vladivostok that were just there. We're gonna have to let them exist there. There we go. France. Where are these guys? Here. Let's uh, go into wherever there that is. Italy. Yep. Yeah. Um, North Germany. Yep. Yeah. All these guys. Oh, we can't. Okay, hang on. What with all of them? Yeah. Oh, they're there. No, these guys are there. Okay. This is this is an interesting predicament we've got ourselves into. Oh boy. Right, we're at war against the entire world, I remember. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's a good start. Oh, we got Mexico. Look at this. We got Mexico. That's not too bad. <laughs> I say it's not too bad. This is pretty bad. Um. Oh. Oh yeah. This is a. Th we gotta somehow make like a fort here. So the problem with going to the war with the Allies is that they own the entire world. So we actually have no resources. No one is going to give us a single resource of steel which we need because we're completely out of steel. So we have way too many factories, and it's 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 a disaster. No one can trade. We can't trade with anyone. There's no trade routes or anything. This is bad. Wait, we can't even trade with, like, Austria-Hungary? Surely. Do they not have any steel? They got plenty of steel. Why can't we trade with them? We can. We can only get 40 steel, though. We've okay, brilliant. Do attack Riga. We'll take Riga pretty easily, surely. 
<sighs> this this line, this front line is just a mess. I don't know what's going on here. We're just gonna leave it, and we're gonna come back to this. We're just gonna pretend it's not there. But I do actually want to try and break through here. Maybe so an encirclement down here. We'll see though. But yeah, let's see. We need uh, we need more boost. We need we need a high intel network, and then we can boost it a bit more. Tell them about the the great the great achievements of communism. Oh, nice. Good, nice. <laughs> this was it. This was the highest point of our of our federation, of our community. And everything from here on in would crumble and eventually lead to the collapse of the BFSR. Unfortunately for 1947, the footage corrupted, which is which really sucks, but nothing really happened. It was just a bunch of static front lines and you know us losing men but we did try a landing in japan which eventually actually happened at the start of 1948. oh my god oh my god i didn't realize i didn't realize i'm sorry okay no go 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 immediately immediately go i don't care about this anymore i don't care about this anymore we're going we're going we're going we're going go go what are you doing Everyone, go to this spot right here. Unfortunately, there was no possible way for any of our troops to get to Japan from Europe. Every way was blocked, whether it was the Mediterranean, where the Allies controlled Gibraltar and the Suez Canal, or through the North Sea, out of the Danish Straits that was controlled by, obviously, the, the, um, the Denmarkians. What do you call them? The Danish. The Danish. It was controlled by the Danish, and they wouldn't let us through either, so there was no possible way that we could get our, any of our army. We were just stuck with what we had. It's about. There we go. Okay, maybe we can try and come in from behind here. Oh, this is so risky. Because if we get caught out here, we're kind of screwed. Like this one division support. This guy's just a legend. He's just walking around. Um... That's good. Guys, need to go over here. We need to take Osaka like now. Only if I could nuke them. We're not getting any spirit. Do we? Do we all? Did all our planes? No. Where are all our planes? Where all our planes go? <laughs> Just take it already. Okay, we've got Osaka. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, we've got 13 divisions. We've lost 7 and we've got 13 left. This is quite the predicament. I wish I could just spawn troops in here. That'd be... That'd be pretty good if I could do that. But no, I can't. I'm attacking. Why are you moving out? Stop attacking. Just defend. No, there goes our chances of a peace deal. All right, well, looks like we're just having to. Yeah, it's not look good. I'll tell you that right now. All right, we just got to focus on the western and eastern front. The fall of Warsaw. The end is near. The end is near, guys. No way. There's an Allied invasion of Japan. We might just get a peace deal after all. The Allies take Japan out, then we are still involved in that peace deal. Come on, UK, you got this. Look, a bunch of Japanese trapped here, a bunch of Japanese trapped here. It's looking good. The fall of Tokyo. American forces that. Oh my gosh, we have an American invasion now. There wasn't. Okay, that's it. That's it for Japan. We're gonna get a peace conference. <gasps> Peace conference! I'm so happy. They just need to take Osaka or Nagoya or Sapporo or something. Hurry up, do it. Oh, there he is. There it is. There it is. Wait, a 99. Come on, bruv. And we have the second most points. Britain has the most points apart from us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're actually gonna have like stuff. Okay, we got a peace conference. Oh my gosh. Oh, what do we do? Uh, we take all of our cores, obviously. Take that, take that, take that. Yeah, take all these. These are ours. No one's taking them from us. That's all our stuff. You know what? We'll even take all of Italy. We can make an Italian puppet. Uh, no, we'll just take all of Italy. We might give that, leave that to Austria-Hungary. We'll see what they do. We'll leave that there for now. 
Lazio. China. Why does China? Why does China want that? All right. Uh, all right. Turkey. Tokyo. You're mine. I'll take. I'll take you. You're mine. Okay, they're gonna try and take that from me? No. I'm not allowing that. It. It's all ours. That's what it is. Alright, we'll take that if they're not. They've got Sicily. We're gonna take it back. And then... What else do we have interest on? Japan? No, I don't care about Japan. I think that's mostly it. I guess we're trying to, you know, fight for the rest of this. There we go. Any more? I think that's it. I think that's everything. Estonia, Latvia, don't care. Angola, Africa, no, I don't really care. All right, that's it. That's the peace conference. Oh my gosh. Everyone's exited. Confirm an exit. All right, we wait for it to load now. Boom. The Treaty of Berlin. What? <gasps> no, this is good. Because now they're not on our front. They're not annoying us here. They have to push through West Germany, but they can't. So that means the only front we've got is this. Oh, no. They join the Allies, Germany, the Weimar Republic, number two, join the Allies. Austro-Hungarian Empire has capitulated. Oh, no. That's it, we're alone. I don't know how we're going to win. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know how we're supposed to win. We're not. This is it. This is the end for us. This is the end for the... Oh, I mean, we got Sweden and Norway, I suppose. And that would be it. The once great nation of the Balkan Federation of Socialist Republics has now succumbed to the Allies, or succumbing to the Allies with no hope of winning. Here is for some reason. Oh, the Chinese United Front declared we're on the Allies. And then our Allies rule the world. Wow. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That is gonna be the end of the video. Now, this is the part where I would shout out all my Patreon supporters if I had any right now. So go join my Patreon and you can be shout out here a bunch, along with a bunch of other benefits as well. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you all in the next one.